Hi everyone and welcome to the latest issue of Bag and Board. I've got quite a big pile of comics to show you today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these are things that I've been gathering over probably the last three or four weeks um, since just before Christmas and there's kind of a mixture of a um, couple of back issues and um, a big fat stack of variants and even a couple of um, regular covers um, that I picked up simply because I like the covers. Um, so to try and not make this video too long, <coughs> we'll get cracking. Um, firstly with the back issues and um, picked up from 1988, uh, Wolverine issue number three. Now, the only issue that I've got from this particular run is um, issue number one, which was a key issue in that it was the first um, ongoing Wolverine issue um, after the four issue miniseries from Miller and Claremont. So that's the only issue that I had prior to this. Um, but when I was just searching around on the internet um, a couple of weeks ago, I found out that you could pick up issues from this run really cheaply. So I picked up this one and I also picked up um, issue number four as well. Now, these are from 1988, but to be quite honest, looking at these, you would think that they'd been released today because I don't think I've ever seen books that are almost 30 years old that are in such pristine condition. It's just unbelievable. There's not a mark on these books. There's no dings, no little spine creases, and the pages, you probably can't see from this, but the pages are absolutely pristine white condition. They're amazing, really. And I only picked these up for a couple of pounds each. Unreal. So now I've got issues one, three and four from this run. What I'm planning to do is, I, I know this was quite a long run and I'm not going to go crazy on it, but I plan to maybe pick up the first 10 or 12 issues in this particular run and then just call it quits at that. But I was really pleased to get those in such good condition. Now, a comic that was released this week uh, was a landmark issue for The Walking Dead. It was issue number 150. And as well as picking up the original um, cover, there was a couple of variants that was released that I really liked. So I picked up these as well. Um, this one's the Ryan Otley variant, which is pretty gruesome, but an amazing cover. And I also got the, the Tony Moore cover as well, which kind of harks back to issue number one. Um, almost an identical cover, apart from, of course, Rick looks completely different. And also the, the kind of shop and everything here, it's, everything's just gone to complete rack and ruin. Everything's overgrown. Obviously, um, showing you the uh, passage of time since issue number one. Um, and these also were um, a bigger issue than usual. So really pleased to pick those up. Another recent variant, and as you probably know, I don't pick up many uh, Marvel comics and I certainly don't pick up this, but I had to get this because it was a Adam Hughes variant. And that's the rebooted um, A-Force number one. Sorry, you're getting some glare on these. But basically, if it's Adam Hughes and if it's at cover price, I'm all over it. Now, one that wasn't um, cover price. And again, this is not something that I'll be picking up on a regular basis. But I wanted to get it because it was a Perez cover. And that's uh, Patsy Walker, a.k.a. Hellcat number one. Really nice Perez cover. Now, something that's not a variant, but um, I just bought it again simply because of the cover. I think it's superb. Um, and it's Batman Arkham Knight Genesis number four. And this is a Stepan Sedgic, Sedgic cover. Um, Harley Quinn and Batman. Like I said, this is not a variant. This was just the regular release cover. And I liked it so much that I actually bought another one. I don't think you can ever have too much Harley Quinn. 
And speaking of which, um, I've been picking up some of the Harley Quinn Little Black Book variants. They're mainly the ones that I get as part of my pull anyway, um, the books that I pick up, uh, with one or two exceptions. So I got a copy of um, the actual Harley Quinn's Little Black Book um, variant, J. Scott Campbell, um, the colour version. As you'll be aware, they came in three different versions, colour, pencil and inked. Um, I picked these up from East Coast Comics, so we're actually unbagging some of them from the poly bags and selling them um, so that you know which cover you were getting. So I picked up the colour Harley Quinn. But then I also bought a couple of blind bags as well, just for the hell of it. And I got another colour copy. Very nice. And I got another colour copy. I have to say, I, I'm not keen on sketch variants at all. So I was more than happy to get colour copies. Got a couple of spare ones. Right, and then Batman issue number 47. Again, the uh, little black book variant. And the colour uh, version of it. This one I knew what I was getting. But then again, I bought another blind bag for this one. And got another colour version. Um, I also collect uh, Justice League. So I picked up the colour Jim Lee version there of uh, Justice League. The Harley Little Black Book variant. Really, really nice. And then the two that I picked up that I don't regularly get as part of my poll were Flash, number 47. And I wanted this one because it was a Terry Dodson cover. And I was lucky enough, even though it was a blind bag, um, I was lucky enough to get the colour version of that as well. Uh, paid face value for this. And again, with the Wonder Woman, issue number 47, I was so lucky with these. Got the colour version again. So all in all, did really well with those. Um, moving, moving on to something slightly different. Um, DC are currently doing a four-issue miniseries uh, called Batman Europa. And I saw from the previews magazine that some of the upcoming variants for this series look really, really good. So I decided to pick up these and I got them all for um, very reasonable prices. So this is issue number one variant cover issue number two and issue number three really like this one and uh, I think it's early next month they're releasing the fourth and final issue of Batman Europa and that's going to be a jock variant so that's an absolute definite now, something that I actually saw in my local comic shop um, when it was released, and I was really surprised, was um, the 1 in 25 Amanda Connor variant of Harley Quinn, number 23. And this was um, cover price. Uh, absolutely gobsmacked. Um, I went over to the counter because there were a few other copies of this um, on display. And I said to the guy who owns the shop, um, is there a, a one per... Um, customer limit on these and he said no you can have as many copies as you want so I picked up another one and like I said these were cover price and I believe that um, the latest issue of Harley which is out this week uh, I think he's going to have copies of that as well the 1 in 25 variant for cover price so I'll be picking up at least uh, one copy of that as well now finally and these are probably the oldest of the uh, pile of books that I've had to show you um, but I picked up a couple of the variant covers for um, Dark Knight 3 the Master Race and I decided to get the uh, Jock cover because I always love Jock's covers so I had to get that one and I also picked up the Art Gem um, Legacy variant sorry this is in Mylar so it's very very shiny 
but I think that's absolutely superb. And I'm toying with the idea at some point because this is in really, really good condition. Obviously, it's a new book, um, but there's nothing that I can see that's um, going to affect the grade on this. Uh, I'm thinking of putting this in for grading. So, but I've got a lot of books that I want to get graded. So, I don't think this will take priority. But eventually, somewhere down the line, I would hope to get that graded. So that's it. That's my big facts, fat, fat stack of comics for this time. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, not quite sure when my next one's going to be, um, but I do have London Super Comic Con coming up in four weeks. So there'll definitely be a whole video following that one. But um, more than likely, there'll be at least a couple of more, a uh, couple more videos between now and then. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching as always, and thanks for your support. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. But please leave a comment as to why you didn't like it. Um, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.